Hey guys, it's Vic, back with a soft-spoken ASMR-ish recipe, and I wish I had the time to do it all, to make an ASMR recipe channel, and learn how to edit my videos, um, but yeah, I don't, and it sucks. So it is almost 10 o'clock at night, as you can see from the time. Both of my children are in bed sleeping. And I am going to share with you a super easy recipe for um, a soup that is delicious. And it is called, well, okay, so different Italians call it different things. Some people call it pasta fagiol, some people call it pasta fazul. Um, I usually just say pasta fazol, pasta fagiol. It, it just depends. Depends who I'm talking to. <laughs> um, usually when I'm talking to my husband, I just say pasta fagiol. Um, so this is a really delicious Italian soup. Um, and I wanted to give you guys the recipe because it's so easy and like affordable and um, I'm in the process of stirring right now, like just finishing it up. Look at all this goodness. Even if you're not into it and you're like, oh, that looks gross, let me just explain to you how to make it. I'm in the process of boiling my pasta right now too for it because it's got um, this kind of pasta. Oh, Jesus, sorry. It's got this kind of pasta that goes in it. So... I'm just getting my like pasta ready for it. Um, I'm literally using my son's knife to stir this because I was too lazy to walk over to my pantry and get a big spoon. Um, okay, so let me explain this soup to you guys. So good. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to get ground beef. I'm sure you could probably use turkey or something like that. Um... If you're not like a, you know, you don't like hamburger meat, but ground beef is what the recipe calls for. So ground beef is in here. And what you do is you brown all your ground beef, just like you're making tacos in a frying pan. You drain it, put it in your pot. Um, and then you rinse out your frying pan, dry it, and put a little bit of olive oil in your frying pan. And then you are going to add carrots, celery, onion. Now, some people don't like celery, and that's okay. Some people don't like carrots, but the recipe is celery, carrot, onion. And you saute in your frying pan with um, some olive oil. And I like to season a little bit with salt and pepper too. So you saute your celery, carrots, and onions while your meat is drained and set aside in the pot that you're gonna make the soup in. Um, af after you're like, I would say midway through sauteing, you're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. I like to add it in the middle. I don't like to add it right away in the beginning. Um, and you're gonna, just going to keep sauteing, sauteing for, I do usually do it for about 15 minutes until they kind of get, the veggies kind of get a little brown and the minced garlic is all evaporated. And then you're going to add your veggies right on top of your ground beef. And then you are going to pour in, I used Hunt's traditional sauce. Um, no, it was not like... Hunt's makes many different kinds like garlic and herb, mushroom, meat flavored. I just use Hunt's traditional. You're going to add as many. This is about, um, how many cans is this? I would say this is about four medium sized cans. Um, so you're going to add your sauce. And then after your sauce is added, you are going to add this chicken broth and I used almost the whole can of this while I was um, after my sauce was in I used about the whole can of that because the chicken broth is what is going to give it a little bit more flavor and it's what's gonna make it soupy if you don't add the chicken broth you're not going to get soup you're gonna get sauce with meat 
and celery, carrots, and onions, and that's gross. So um, after you have added your meat, your veggies, your sauce, and your chicken broth, you are then going to add your seasonings. And I used basil leaves. I used whole oregano. Um, I added a little bit of parsley, but I top it with parsley. So I usually don't add too much parsley. I added a little bit of garlic powder. I added a little, little bit of sea salt and then black pepper. Um, and I also like to add sugar to anything saucy I make because sugar cuts the acidity and my husband gets really bad agita, which is Italian for heartburn, as well as I do. So, so you're going to do meat, veggies, sauce, chicken broth, seasonings. You're going to get it to a nice boil, stirring it. And I kind of um, slowly add more chicken broth throughout to make it like whatever soupy consistency I want. And then halfway through the cook, you are going to open two cans of beans. I'll tell you what kind of beans they are. And you're going to drain them and you're going to add them. You're going to add drain and add dark kidney beans. And you're going to drain and add um, great northern beans which are white and then that's it you're just gonna stir and stir and stir and stir and stir um, I've been cooking this it's almost 10 o'clock um, which I know it's weird that like we're eating this late but today was just like a crazy day um, and my husband was off so sometimes when he's off we own a cleaning business and we clean like business accounts like offices so sometimes when we have a cleaning account that he's got to go to later we don't eat until he comes home um so yeah you're gonna do all that and then you're just gonna let it cook this has been cooking since like 7 30 7 o'clock 7 30 and it's almost 10 i probably won't eat much tonight because it's way too late for me but i'm sure he'll have a bowl when he gets home and then you're going to drain and add this um uh, ditalini pasta. You can use whatever pasta you like, but this is what the recipe calls for. This is what you're going to get in restaurants. Um, yeah, and it's super easy, super simple. And then you just top it with like some parm cheese and some of these, um, parsley flakes and that's it. It's so easy and it's so good and tasty. Now, one thing that I like to do with my soup and one thing I like to do when I make homemade sauce, which I believe is what makes it taste so good. Number one, I like to cover it halfway through and then I stir like every 10, 15 minutes because you don't want your sauce or your soup to stick on the bottom. You do not want that. Um, I like to re-season halfway through. I do it when I make chicken soup. I do it when I make chicken and yonkey soup. I do it when I make pasta fajoule. I do it when I make homemade pot of sauce. I like to season halfway through. Um, so what I do is I, like, sorry, my kitchen's like a mess right now. Um, I like to re-add um, seasoning and sugar. I typically don't like to do the salt and the garlic, but like the whole oregano, the, um, the basil, even this. I even added this. Italian seasonings. So I like to add all those slowly throughout the evening while I'm cooking my soup or my sauce. And then I keep like adding a little bit of sugar as well. And it turns out really, really good and really delicious. Um, and it tastes just like restaurant soup. It's phenomenal. So um, one thing I do not add to my soup that this recipe does call for, it doesn't really make a difference, I don't like them, is drained diced tomatoes. Um, cause pasta fajoule Italian, I mean, that's what you add. You add tomatoes to your soup. I don't like the tomatoes. My husband doesn't like the diced drained tomatoes. So I just leave it out and nobody can tell the difference. Um, but yeah, that's literally how simple it is guys. So easy, so tasty. I love it. And this will last for about maybe I would say two days that we'll eat it for leftovers and then I'll put it in Tupperware and I'll freeze it. Um, and let me just show you, sorry, my kitchen's like a mess. Let me just show you what I do. So this is my um, sauce and meatballs that I made a couple Sundays ago. And um, yeah, I, well, a couple, yeah, a couple Sundays ago and I froze it. And like, if I need a dinner, 
that I didn't have planned. I just take my sauce out and I thaw it out throughout the day. Boom. And then you have another meal. So whenever you make like soups and sauces and you feel like, oh, I don't want to throw it out. I don't want to waste it. Oh my God, freeze them for sure. And they're super delicious, even better after you defrost it and eat it for a second meal. So I have to go drain my pasta before it gets soggy. It's not really al dente. Um, yeah, and you guys let me know if you make pasta fajoule and you like it because it's really delicious. And I have some ideas for some ASMR videos, so I promise, I know I always say it like a broken record, I'm going to do my best to try and get some out for you. But let me know if you enjoy it, guys. Bye.